Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about how can put that URL link in your route, right? So right now, if you want to go to that about page, you can access your about page that is a contact page and then our home page. So now in this video, I want to discuss about the database cause we will create one dynamic site, right? So for the dynamic site, every data should be comes from our database. So friend, right now I'm using that local host XAMPP. And the XAMPP have already run our Apache and the MySQL, right? So when you install that XAMPP, as I told you before, if you go to that local host and if you run it and into the local host, you can see it's now redirected to our local host and the XAMPP. And with the XAMPP area, they have the another database deleted, another option that means another tools as a PHP my admin. Now open it. And into the PHP my admin here you can see that is the our database structure. So right now that is our database server. So that is our database server, and I'm using that database uh, that is server version 10.4.13 and the Mario DB. Okay. So right now that is our database. So here I want to do I want to create one of the database for our this project. So if you want to create new database, there is an option for the database. Now just open it. And here you can see friend i have already lots of database uh, for my different type of project so here that is the very much relevant in cpanel into the cpanel they have also another option for the php my admin so right now i'm using that sql server so if you want to create any database there is option for the create database so now i want to do i want to create one of the database and i name it as a laravel laravel 8 okay so this type of one of the database name i want to add as a laravel 8 and here you don't need to do anything i want to do i want to create simple one of the database and now i click as a create now you can see friend our database is now successfully created so now we have to do we have to configure it that means we have to create one of the connection with our database to our project so if you want to create that connection you have to do you have to go to your project directory into the project directory they have one of the file as a env so to the dot env here as i told you friend that is our app url that means right now i am working with the um, local host when you deploy this project to the web server here you have to put your web um, that means your domain name and also they have the another option for the db connection you can see right now i'm using that mysql and the db host that is actually by default one of the hosts so if you want to add that local host you can add that local host that is a db port and that is a database name so by default when you install laravel well, laravel actually provided this type of one of the um, name as a laravel so right now i have already created one of the database name here we have to do we have to add our this database name so i have created one of the database name as a laravel 8 so now i copy it and now here i updated our this laravel that is our database name okay friend and then the data db username by default that is a root and there is a db password right now in my exam they have no password so right, right now i don't have any password for the reasons here i make it as a null and there is our username root and then the database so that is the three things will be needed so here we successfully added that means we successfully create a connection now if you click as a save all i click as a save all and now if you open it and now if you refresh it so if it is running well that means that's already created the connection with our database perfectly in our next video i want to discuss about how can you install that laravel default authentication system so when you install that default authentication system then we can actually able to access our logging and the register that user and friend i hope you will like it very much everything is ready made you have to do you have to just install it so how can do that work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video